peace to you and welcome to Augsburg's Daily Chapel on this Thursday, April 2nd. Today we offer a prayer service for you and for our community and for the world. I will be joined by Reverend Babette Chapman and pastoral intern Sarah Swindoll. We will offer up some prayers today that we have been writing over these past few weeks and offering as a prayer for. It's a, a way in which we are seeking to invite the community into praying for each other and for all the people who are in need of prayer in these days of COVID-19. Thank you for joining us in this simple prayer service. May these prairies, prayers buoy you and buoy the world as we continue to seek to thrive and live together in these days. Our prayers are with you. Proverbs 8, verse 1. Does not wisdom call, and does not understanding raise her voice? Let us pray. God of all wisdom and understanding, we thank you for Augsburg University and all centers of learning seeking to educate leaders for work and witness in your world. In these days of upheaval, uphold college students adapting to the real consequences of the coronavirus. Living arrangements have shifted, coursework is taking on new forms, jobs and internships have retracted, study abroad programs canceled or postponed, and the scramble to adapt to the ever-changing situation is maddening. And all the while, health risks loom. Into this chaos, Holy One, reveal your steady presence and empower all students engaged in higher education. Calm anxious hearts and minds. Ease the burdens of isolation. Bolster community through social media. Give focus to the coursework that needs tending and give your peace, the peace that passes all understanding, made known through your spirit of wisdom and her ways. Amen. 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 A reading from Deuteronomy 32, the second verse. May my teaching drop like the rain, my speech condense like the dew, like gentle rain on grass, like showers on new growth. Let us pray. All wise God, you who give seed to the sower, you who gives gifts of teaching, instruction without repentance, we offer this prayer of thanksgiving and encouragement to Augsburg University's faculty and teachers who are selfless and giving beyond expectations. We offer prayer of gratitude rain down on there, accepting this new challenge of educating our leaders in new ways. We ask that the fruit of their labor produce students who succeed and flourish like new grass, 
under these unforeseen circumstances. We also pray for the well-being of all faculty and teachers, that they do not feel stressed, discouraged, or defeated during this time. Oh God, be mindful of your gifted tender plants as they face these challenges and meet the task at hand, giving the confidence in their vocational call this season. Bless them now, we pray, with the presence of your promised holy comforter and guide. Amen. 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 A reading from Isaiah 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I am the one who helps you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you lend your strength to all those who are there for us in times of crisis, fear, and hurt. You give courage to the first responders who continue to do this important work they are called to do, looking beyond the risk for the sake of those who need your help and protection. We give you thanks for the many ways they give of themselves, their skills, knowledge, and help in troubling times. Protect them, O Lord. Extend your shielding hand over them and comfort their hearts when they are tired and heartbroken. God, we also lift up prayers of thanksgiving and comfort for the families of first responders and all who support them. Give them hope and courage. Surround them with your loving presence and give them peace when their loved ones run toward uncertainty. All this we pray in your name, amen. Revelation 22, verse 2. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its 12 kinds of fruits, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Let us pray. God of healing touch, your revelatory vision for the world teems with life, renewal, and wholeness. By way of this vision, you gift humanity with medical knowledge and the healing arts, thus equipping healers among us. In these hours, O oh God, give courage and resolve to doctors, nurses, pharmacists, physician assistants, lab technicians, medical researchers, office support staff, custodial staff, and all healthcare workers laboring in harm's way in these trying times of coronavirus. Keep them safe as they bear your fruits of healing for the sake of our nation and all the nations of your world. This we pray offering our thanksgiving for all who are called to heal. Amen. 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 A reading from Psalm 90, the 17th verse. Let the favor of the Lord, O God, be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. O prosper the work of our hands. Let us pray. Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, thank you today for the blessing of grocery store personnel. We offer prayers of gratitude for each and every employee that faithfully shows up to work. Bless them with your presence in every area of the store, the parking lot, and the roads that lead to them. Praise you for the people who station all areas of frozen food, meat, seafood, produce, deli, dairy, health and beauty and front end. May your favor, O oh God, rest on every cashier, bagger, stock clerk, butcher, department store manager, assistant store manager, manager, executives, 
prosper, gracious Lord, the work of their hands and bless their households. Continue to protect them from the evil COVID-19 virus, from every hurt, harm, or danger. May they, may they be met with love and kindness from everyone that benefits from their labor. Keep them in your love, light, and in your care, we pray. Amen. Amen. A reading from Psalm 138, 7 through 8. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Let us pray. Mighty deliverer, your steadfast love and abundant hope strengthen our spirits in difficult times. We give you thanks for all those whose jobs are essential, whose work keeps your people fed, provides necessary items for living, and who keeps our line of communication open. We especially give thanks for all the postal workers and package delivery personnel who often must walk in the midst of trouble to carry out their work. God, we give thanks for their sacrifice, their dedication, and their strength. We ask you, O oh Lord, to protect them from exposure to COVID-19, keep them healthy and safe from all harm, strengthen their spirits and their bodies, we pray that all those in power are granted the wisdom and the resources to protect these vital and precious members of our community. We put our trust in you, O oh God, and know that your love endures forever, and you will never forsake the work of your hands. All this we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. Amen.